Hi, this is Lucky Singh, the property fixer, here to fix you and help you grow your property and your business affairs to the next level. So if you're looking for knowledge and insights about how to get involved in property, solve your problems about scalability in your property business, then do watch our 20 minute clips. We've taken them from hundreds and, well, thousands of videos that we've taken over the last six months and we've broken them into simple chunks which can make them useful for you. So do watch and do subscribe to our YouTube channel underneath as well. Good morning, United Kingdom. Good morning, everyone. And we have 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. drive time session with Lucky Singh, the property fixer, the mover, the uber, the shaker, the maker, the quaker, the moonwalker, the quaker, the squawker, the man who makes things happen in the square mile. Lucky Singh, how are you this morning? How's the weather? The weather is uh, <clears throat> awful as usual for a winter's day. But, uh, life is beautiful awful as always. For a winter's day, that means it's a, it must be sunny outside, Lucky. Because if it's a winter's day and if it's awful, that means there's no snow, there's no cold, it's hot outside. Is that correct? Not at all. I think uh, the weather's a bit uh, <coughs> gloomy and a bit gloomy. drizzly in uh, London. A drizzly in London. That sounds very gloomy for a man who's a fixer. Is always very positive. I would say no gloom, no cornflakes. But anyhow, cornflakes uh, need rain. No rain in London today, Lucky. Just gloom. Um, to be honest, I haven't had a chance to have a proper look because I've been so busy with other things. Focusing on social media and getting the message out there about the Alternative Property Solutions community. So uh, we've hit uh, 1,400 people now in the group, which is very exciting. 1,400 news. people now going upwards every day, every week. It's going up an upward trend. We have waiting in the wings as well. Uh, our previous guest who came on, uh, Tracy Cummings, I think, is it? Cummings? Tracy Cummings? No. All right. No? no? Oh, oh Tracy. Hello. 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 Tracy. Morning, Tracy. How are you? Tracy, All right, thank Patrick. you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. 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 I was about to give you the proper intro, like, uh, like Ruluta Van Ross to Maria Carai. <laughs> Waiting in the wings, I was going to start the song, but you've been me to it, Tracy, this morning. How well, are you, you Tracy? Are. <laughs> and how is Scotland? I think, if I'm not wrong, isn't that where you're from? Scotland? No, no. Name's wrong. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm in Bristol. Bristol, that's nearly near Scotland. It's only a few thousand miles south. Is that right? It is. It is. Yeah, just a, just a few. You're the lady who's into property refurbs and uh, flips. That's right. You're a gymnast. Yeah. That's right. Very I remember now. Sorry about that. Yeah. Apologies, okay. apologies. That's okay. Because I thought you were another Tracy that we had up in the north. But you're the one who is in the, the south, Bristol. Yeah. And who is got a different style to your partner, I think. That's the one. Is that right? A different style to my partner? Yeah, you um, know, I think you've oh, got, your partner works with you or something in your... Yeah, he does your, work with me. Yes, he does. I mean, we do right. see eye to eye on most things, really. Um, it's okay. just that he, he's very good at being... Uh, he's analytical, which is great. So ah, he, he deals he's with the that. Guy. I remember he's yeah. the one who's the IT guy. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and, yeah. Um, yeah, so he does all of all of the um, due diligence and finding the properties. And so and he's... the market you want? Um, probably, yes. Yes, the people we must person. redefine our, our roles actually a little bit better because we're a bit blurred at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that happens in most businesses when you've got people who are very close, who are working together, the definition of roles. But that I'm sure you will fix. And if you can't, you've got the lucky thing, the property fixer who can give you good say, yeah. business yeah. input, good tools to use to make your business a bit more 
efficient. <coughs> okay, lucky sink. Today's um, topic is a continuation of yesterday's, and that is uh, I can't remember. Hold on. <coughs> How the RAC program, that's the one for rescue my properties where there's an associate program, how it can change your income or your uh, business position, uh, and even so during the lockdown, because I think they've gone back to tier three lockdown again. Is that right, uh, Lucky, in London? That's right. Tier three is starting again today. So tier three. I did manage to squeeze in a couple of places to go out yesterday, take advantage of the last day of uh, living in the world <laughs> at large right. at large so we did manage to get get uh, a high tea in the waldorf and uh, we did noise. manage to get Very into you are making us jealous you are making us jealous our mouth water you're having tea at the waldorf uh, very nice strand mixing and mingling with the rich and famous like you do Tracy, do you have a Waldorf in Bristol, in sunny Bristol? No, we don't seem to have one of those, no. <laughs> we have a Premier Inn, does that count? <laughs> I, I think you've got a... Okay, well, we, I think we have got... You've got a... Is it the Railway or something? It's called the Railway Hotel or something. <coughs> or the Station Hotel. In Bristol, I think. Have you got something like that? Um, I don't know of one called the railway. Um, quite possibly. Hello? I actually live outside Bristol, so... Um, Can you hear me? Yeah, try again, that's right. Okay. Okay, let me think. While we're waiting for Tracy to come back. Uh, yes, so the topic is the RAC model in the Rescue My Properties uh, service line. The Rescue Associateship. Now, I know uh, we discussed in detail about it yesterday, but I want to go into it and make a bit more detail again, revise it and get to work out um, the important bits in becoming an RAC. Now you say it's free, and it's free while the covert is around, which is unknown, maybe around for another two, three months. And you say that, you can make money off it, and, and the extents are quite broad. You can make a thousand pounds to a couple of thousand pounds just by doing a part time activity, and you could be making tens of thousands by making it a full time affair. Is that correct, Lucky? Uh, that's absolutely correct. I think um, yeah. it's an amazing income opportunity. Um, especially in a situation where the whole property and the business market and income generation side of um, what's happening in the UK is in a huge state of flux. So I think, uh, you know, we're, we were a little bit ahead of our time, I think, because we had this proposition ready about three years ago and we were actually... Uh, uh, helping people that were unemployed or people that uh, were a loose end in property, wanting to work from home, who didn't have much an easy way of accessing a low cost franchise or let's just say an income model or associate model, not not really a franchise. So um, we've been doing events and uh, telling people about this for the last two or three years. So the, the whole model is already set, uh, ready to rock and roll. Okay. So um, now, is it true then? I mean, uh, the only requirement you've got for anybody uh, becoming a uh, an associate for Rescue My Properties is that they need to get an in, an ICO license. That's the Information Commissioner's license to be able to handle data. Is that correct, Lucky Singh? And that only costs what? Uh, Fifty pounds, forty pounds. How much? Like forty, forty pounds. Uh, forty just pounds. To, yeah. So that you can comply with any GDPR rules, because if you are collecting uh, data and you are sending it and putting it into system, 
then you need to be registered as in a, as an individual or a company with the information commission commissioner's office which is called the ICO uh, so if you just type in how to register myself um, with the ICO into Google all the right information will come up and you simply have to uh, pay them and uh, fill in a registration form which should take uh, five minutes and uh, that's pretty much it it's as simple as that okay we've got a, Tracy can be done in a jiffy. In the wind. okay we've got Tracy waiting in the wings again I'm gonna call her in I think we've got her in before I could call her in Tracy are you there I am can you hear us live time now is it I can is it yeah correct? Put yeah. the volume down. Your neck over here. Got your neck over going My on. My volume down. Wait, just a tad. Is that better? Excelente. Lovely to hear you in real time. And again, as we said before, waiting in the wings. The lovely Tracy. Yeah. Uh, the topic of today is, uh, and we're going to continue it for a couple of parts more. Is the associate model that Lucky's got. Um, that basically lets people make money while they're helping people. It's, and it's a bit of a contradictory statement because, you know, commerce doesn't normally have the, um, the uniqueness to be helping people. So how do you explain that, Lucky? Can you explain that for everyone? And obviously, Tracy is with us now. How does it help? And how do you make money off helping people? So... <clears throat> how can it help somebody like Tracy? Probably the right sort of question. So when Tracy's out there sorting properties, she's looking to get her finance. She may want to sell something. Uh, she may have an issue with the bank, where the bank may say, look, it's one of your properties, uh, we don't want to lend. And, uh, you know, there's a... Uh, or one of our investors might pull out and she might need some extra cash um, because they're a bit worried about the market, but she may be a bit more gun ho about it. So in all these type of situations, you have solutions on the table. So we have a fully-fledged state agency arm, which is UK-wide. It can help you to sell your property. It can also help you to source buyers as well for them. Can okay, you imagine being in a situation where you want to go buyers? So you already know that your property is going to be pre-sold to one of our high net buyers because they like the numbers. Second situation is uh, you know, finance. You're looking to, you've got the right properties you want, but then you see another one, which is a fantastic deal, but your cash is already tied up. And the, all the investors that you had, they've already pulled their cash into those two projects. So how can you raise more cash? So we've got access to private lenders that will lend um, private money to help facilitate those sort of deals. And funny thing is that the bigger money you're borrowing, the cheaper the money I can get. And also uh, with the higher loan to value, I can get money up to 100% lending up for a minimum 10 million, for example, which is kind of strange but the bigger money you're borrowing now the cheaper and the quicker and the easier you can actually you say, get it but obviously you're gonna pay you're gonna have the credentials to be able to do that when you say bigger money are you mean like is it like big like an obese person with lots of facts around it or is it larger amount you mean to say like a larger amount of money or are you actually saying big in terms of a big fat man comes and delivers you the money um, the bigger money means uh, <laughs> what it means, but I'll explain that if you wish, uh, VJ Sal. Um, so 10, 10 million pounds is, I would say, big money, <clears throat> and uh, 50,000 pounds is small money in terms of the type of money that we can raise. A lot of bridging companies don't like to lend less than 40, 50,000 pounds. On average, I think uh, mo most of them don't like to let, lend less than 100 or 200. So that's still somewhat small money. Then we do have lenders that will lend a minimum 100 million. So that's like very big money. So I uh, hope that makes sense. Anyway. 
and hundred million can also be small money for some people as well. Are you saying like a, a wrestler? Co, co, what, they, what do they call them, Tracy? Those big Japanese wrestlers? What they're called? I think you mean do sumo wrestlers. Sumo wrestler comes through the door, smashes in your front door, and hands you some money. That's what Lucky means. What do you think is meant by big money? Is it large sums, or is it a big fat sumo wrestler who's going to bust your front door down and hand you some money? Uh, no, I think I agree with Lucky, and um, it's definitely large sums with lots of zeros behind it. Yes, excellent. That's for the. That's for our listeners as well, for everyone to understand what Lucky means by big money. Because you can be too big to fail, as they say. There's a movie on that, Too Big to Fail. Anyhow, talking about the topic, the RAC model and how it helps. We've covered it. Lucky's told me the various things that the solution, uh, end solution can provide to potential clients. But I'm still confused. How do you make money and help people at the same time? You still not explain that bit. But before you answer that question, Lucky Singh, we first have to give a shout out to Mandy, to John Smith, to a new uh, new member, Lisa Davidson. Good morning to you too. And we have a fourth person. Nobody's a. The fourth person is the Invisible Man. Big shout out. Mandy asked a question yesterday about the membership. Uh, I gave an answer, and, and I think I think we need to repeat that and make it evident. There may be a requirement, Mandy, that you get the ICO license to upload to get your membership uh, activated. So I'm not sure whether you've missed that somewhere in the process. And if it's not there, I'm sure Lucky Singh will make sure he'll fix it as he is the lucky the fixer the property fixer okay tracy how many if hard work is the key then the question for this week is if opportunity was last week this week is talent that's it if you don't have talent do you think hard work can make it happen. Are you hardworking or are you talented? Um, I think I'd say probably, hopefully, a bit of both, really. Um, a mix. Yeah, like like little mix. <laughs> mix. I've definitely, I definitely work hard, um, but I have been doing what we're doing for a number of years, albeit we had a gap. I had a gap in the middle of it. Um, so I think probably a little bit of each. Hey. Right, so it's a, it's a little, it's a mix of both things. Before we go back to Lucky and asking that question that I asked earlier, on, how do you help people and how do you make money at the same time? You haven't answered that question. You probably deviated over to the services that you provide and what the uh, benefits are of referring clients to the Rescue My Associate or the Rescue My Property team. So, a big shout to a lady by the name of a hero, I would say. A, she's an unsung hero of the alternative business and properties community, Marsha Sandy. Uh, Sandy, I think that's right. And she has referred, or she's brought in about 50 or more people to the group. So a big shout out to Marsha. We'll try and get you on. I'd love to know who you are and what you do. So lucky before, can you answer that question, please? Because you've not answered. I'm a bit confused. How are you helping people and making money at the same time? Because you still haven't answered that question. So it's quite simple. <clears throat> In this market, a lot of people have got problems because they uh, they may have a problem because they can't sell their property easily. Because 